it's your boy Books, and welcome to my NBA 2K19 Mobile Dribble Tutorial. The last time I did a dribble tutorial was in 2K16, that was quite a while back. And to be honest, the actual reason why I haven't done one since is because the controls never really changed. The dribble moves didn't change either. So I didn't see a reason why I needed to do another dribble tutorial. Because you could just apply the old one to the new games. But you guys have been asking me since to do another one. And since the controls have changed so much, I'm sure most of you guys wanted to know the best way to break some ankles. So without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's dive straight in. We're starting with some triple threat moves. So in this position, you can either jab left, jab right, or jab forward. And it's really simple. While holding the ball, all you have to do is either flick the right stick to the left, to the right, or straight up. And you will then complete the triple threat jab. Also, you can chain the triple threat with an escape move with a crossover or a spin move. All you need to do is whilst flicking the right stick to the left or to the right, you just have to move the left stick in the opposite direction. For example, if you jab to the left with the right stick, all you have to do is move the left stick to the right direction and you're, and you're going to complete a triple threat escape. Also, it works the other way. If you jab to the right, you can escape to the left with a left stick. This is a pretty good move. You can use it to get that first step off your defender and knock down the J. Next on the list, we have the in and out move. And this one is pretty simple, man. All you need to do is flick the right stick up in the standing position and you're going to complete the in and out move. You can also do the in and out whilst moving. All you need to do is while sprinting, flick the right stick up as well. And your player kind of goes into a stutter step and you can use this to freeze the defender and get to the basket. Next on the list, we have the spin move. In order to complete the spin move, all you have to do is flick the right stick in a circular motion. So for example, if the ball's on your right hand, just flick the right stick in an anti-clockwise direction. And if the ball's on your left hand, you spin the right stick in a clockwise direction and you get the spin move. So moving on to something new, something that was in the last dribble tutorial, the cross spin. So in order to complete the cross spin, what you have to do is in a standing position, just rotate the right stick in a circular motion and your player is going to complete the cross spin. It's a really good move because you can use it to combo into a step back or into a crossover. You can shake the defender off and pull up for a jumper. Next on the list is the between the legs move. This one is pretty simple as well. You just have to move the right stick diagonally. So if the ball's on your left hand, you move the right stick to the bottom right. And if the ball's on your right hand, you move the right stick to the bottom left. And you can also do this whilst moving as well. Just keep moving the right stick diagonally. And you can use this move to create some space and get to the rim. Next up, we have the behind the back move. So in order to do this, what you have to do is just flick the right stick down in the standing position and you complete a behind the back move. You can chain multiple behind the back moves together, just have to keep flicking it down. Also, you can do the behind the back whilst moving as well. But you cannot do this move while sprinting. You just have to hold the left stick enough for your player to start moving and flick the right stick downwards and you complete the behind the back move. Next up is the hesitation or the hezi. In order to do the hesitation, what you have to do is flick the left stick in the direction of the ball hand. So basically what this means is if the ball's on your left hand, you flick the right stick to the left. And if the ball's on your right hand, you flick the right stick to the right. Also, you can chain the hesitation into a crossover. What you have to do is just flick the left stick in the direction of the ball hand and then quickly move the left stick in the opposite direction. So basically, if the ball's on your right, you flick the right stick to the right and then quickly move the left stick to the left. Also, you can do the hesitation whilst moving as well. You just need to be sprinting and then move the right stick in the direction of the ball hand. Next up, we got one of basketball's deadliest moves, the crossover. In order to do this move, what you have to do is flick the right stick to the non-ball hand. So just in the direction of the hand, the ball is not in. So if the ball's on your left, just flick the right stick to the right. And if the ball's on your right, you flick the right stick to the left. Pretty simple. And you can chain multiple of these moves together. Also, you can do the crossover whilst moving. All you have to do is just be sprinting and then flick the right stick either right or left. Last but definitely not least, we got the step back or the snatch back. So in order to do this move, you have to be sprinting first and then you flick the right stick downwards. So sprinting is necessary to do this move or else it's going to become a behind the back move 
So when you're sprinting, just flick the right stick downwards and you have a snatch back or a step back. This move is really good, man. You can use to create some space either for a three or get the defender frozen and drive to the basket. Anyways, spin your boy books. Let me know in the comment section if I left out any of the dribble moves. I'll be sure to cover it up and I'll be sure to do another video on it. Also, drop a like on the video if this tutorial helped you out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay bookmarked. Peace. Yakum. Yeah,